In this guide, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu 2004.1 LTS in Oracle VirtualBox. This tutorial assumes that you have already downloaded the Ubuntu 2004.1 LTS ISO image from their official website. Link to download the ISO image is also given in the description area. First, I'm going to show you how to create a VirtualBox VM for installing Ubuntu LTS. You need to open VirtualBox and then you need to click on Machines and then click on New. Specify the name of your virtual machine. Here I'm giving name Ubuntu 2004.1 LTS. Under Type, as we can see, Linux is selected. Under Version, we can verify that Ubuntu 64 bit is selected. Now I'm going to click on Next. On this window, you have to set the memory size for the Ubuntu VM. For Ubuntu Desktop 2004.1 LTS, it should be at least 2 GB. Let's change the value to 2 GB. Now, let's click Next. On this window, actually, we just need to click on Create to create a new virtual hard disk for our virtual machine. And that's why I'm going to click on Create. Select Virtual Disk Image VDI as a hard disk file type and click Next. Select Dynamically Allocated Virtual Disk Type and click Next. On this window, you can specify the location where you want to store the virtual hard disk of this VM and then you can also specify the size of this virtual hard disk. It should be at least 50 gig. So I'm going to change the value from 10 GB to 50 GB. Fine. Now we need to click on create to create this VM. Okay, as we can see, the virtual machine has been created successfully. Let's modify the settings. And for that, we need to select the VM and click on settings icon. First, I'm going to click on system. And on this tab, I'm going to change the boot order. Uh, let me clear the checkbox of floppy disk. So optical disk will be first in a boot order and then a hard disk. I'm also going to select this checkbox to enable EFI for special OS as you want to install Ubuntu with UEFI mode. Also, I'm going to click on processor tab. Uh, let's add two core for this virtual machine. Uh, then I'm going to click on storage. Let's select empty virtual disk. Click on this disk icon. And here we need to select choose a disk file. Specify the location where you have stored the ISO image of Ubuntu 2004.1 LTS. Let's select the ISO image Ubuntu 2004.1 Desktop AMD 64-bit ISO image. Click on Open and click on OK. So we have modified the settings which we wanted. Now I'm going to click on Start to start this virtual machine. Let me maximize it. Okay, here we have a certain options uh, like Ubuntu, Ubuntu Safe Graphics, OEM Install, Boot From Next Volume or UEFI Firmware Settings. To install Ubuntu, we need to select Ubuntu and then we need to press Enter key. After waiting for a few seconds, the Ubuntu installer should start. To try Ubuntu without installation, you can click on Try Ubuntu. And to install the Ubuntu on your virtual machine, we need to click on Install Ubuntu. Now select your keyboard layout and click on Continue. From here, you can do a normal installation or minimal installation. Normal installation comes with all the apps, while minimal installation comes with the limited numbers of apps. It saves a lot of disk spaces. But in this video, we are going to select Normal Installation and then here we have a several other options like if you have internet connection on your computer, you can check download updates while installing Ubuntu to download all the necessary updates while installing Ubuntu on your computer. We can also select this checkbox to include third-party softwares for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats. But that we are not going to select. Let's click on continue. As this is a virtual machine, I'm not going for the manual partitioning and that's why I'm going to select Erase Disk and install Ubuntu on it. Let's click on Install Now. 
The Ubuntu installer will automatically create all the necessary partitions in our virtual hard disk. Click on continue. Now select your time zone as per the region. In my case, it is India. Click on continue. Tap your personal information like your name, your computer name, username and password. Once you specify all the required information, click on continue. The Ubuntu installer should start copying all the necessary files to your virtual hard drive. It may take a while to complete the installation process. Once the installation is complete, click on restart now to restart the virtual machine. It is asking us to remove the installation media and then press enter key. After reboot, you should see the Ubuntu Desktop 2004 LTS login window. Now you can log on to this virtual machine using the password which you have set during the installation. In our case, I have created the user account name must be no. So let's click on it and let's specify the password. Let's press enter key to sign in. Click on skip. Click on next. Next again. Next again. And click on done. After completing that process, now you should be able to use Ubuntu Desktop 20.04 LTS as normally. After successful installation of Ubuntu 20.04.1, now I'm going to install VirtualBox Guest Edition tools. And for that, we need to open terminal. So let's right click here and select open in terminal. First, we need to update the apt package repository cache. And for that, we need to type command sudo apt update. Now, we simply need to press enter key. It will ask us to provide the password of our user for the verification. Type the password and press enter key. Now you can install VirtualBox Guest Edition tools. Now let me clear the screen first. And we need to type the command sudo apt install VirtualBox Guest DKMS, VirtualBox Guest X11, VirtualBox Guest Utils. Now we need to press enter key. To confirm the installation, type Y and then press enter key again. This will download and install all the required packages on our Ubuntu system. It may take a while to complete the process. At this point, VirtualBox Guest Edition tools should be installed successfully on our Ubuntu computer. Now we need to reboot our Ubuntu Virtual Machine once to take the effect of that installation. And that's why I'm going to close terminal. Let me close this as well. And uh, let's reboot our virtual machine. Click on restart to restart this virtual machine. After reboot, let's again log into our Ubuntu VM. Click on username. Specify the password and hit enter key. After installing VirtualBox Gas Edition tools, you should be able to resize the VM window freely and the Ubuntu display size would automatically adjust itself. This confirms that VirtualBox Guest Edition tools is working correctly. Now you can enjoy Ubuntu Desktop 20.04.1 LTS on a VirtualBox. Thank you for watching this video. See you all in the next video.